Last year I made a video of my Wing 2B20 going 38 km per hour, which I achieved by replacing both battery pack and the controller. And many of you have been asking in the comments to make a tutorial of how to connect all the cables or at least to provide your wiring diagram and I was a bit lazy to do that for the last six months or so. But today here it is, this is the video relating to the first video that pro will provide you the guidance on all the connections that you need for the specific controller. The link to the controller you will find down in the description below and you can also find the link to the previous video somewhere in the description down below. Thank you all for watching and I hope that the video will be self-explanatory, enjoy. So let's go on the bike side, what cables do we have? We have the rear light cable, this is 4 pin cable right here where only 2 pins are used. We have the charger port for your battery pack. We have 2 2 pin connectors that are for brake signals for uh, left and right brake handles. You have the front uh, light pin, 2 pin uh, connector, that's male version, these were female. Then you have the 6 wire cable that's blue yellow white green black and red and the left part that's for throttle and these three i think these are for cruise control but don't quote me on this i'm not sure about that as you can see i am not using those three right now and cruise control is not working on my wing gooby 20 after the upgrade and then here we have the four wire cable so the black and red it's for the power switch and the green and uh, yellow is for the light button so the red button on your left handle and then you have many wire cable where you have three motor phase uh, wires and connectors and you have one hall sensor connector with one two three four five um, cables and here you have to pay attention let me just zoom in can I zoom in in Microsoft Paint all right, so here you can see you have red, yellow, blue, green, and at the bottom we actually have red, yellow, green, blue. So you will have to switch the colors here, and that's probably the only place where the colors are inverted. Other than that, for me, at least it works like this, and I don't know if this will be the same for you, if you will get the controller with the same colors or not. So instead of just blindly trusting the colors, just try and understand what connects where and why okay and then here is the standard controller chart so you can see you have uh, black positive and negative for your I'll just zoom in a little bit so it's battery uh, positive and battery negative then you have three phase wires that connect to exactly the same colors uh, right here with the with, with your bike and then you have hall sensor where I'm, as I mentioned, in my case, it's only blue and green that have to be switched. So this is probably where you will need to do soldering as the, the connector pin will not work here. You will have to do soldering potentially for the power connection for your battery. Then we're going next. Next is throttle. You might need to do some soldering here as well and then red connects to the red black connects to the black and white accelerator signal connects to the green accelerator in this cable on the bike and you have uh, okay i'll skip these ones for the lights so we'll get back to those to those later so you have a three wire cable here which is booster sensor i don't know what that is you don't have to use it i just use ground for the lights i will explain that a bit later and then you have the cruise control signal from the controller i don't use it either on uh, on my bike you have the brake signal wires so it's it's doubled you will see it's uh, white and black two doubled connectors which actually connect pretty well with the doubled connectors for the brakes right here so red with red black with black i didn't change anything these were just fitting you didn't have to solder or anything then there is a uh, motor rec uh, phase recognition a cable if your if your motor doesn't spin the right direction you can use connect the green cable together and then it will automatically recognize the phase and then the one that you need to connect is actually the power output and power input uh, and this uh, so the yellow cable connects to the black one and the red one connects to the red and 
originally it looks like this but you see I had to cut it off and I had to solder the connector from the controller so it fits this this connector right here so that's it that's what you have to do now I also sorted out the lights for the lights to work uh, I connect the ground black cable from the rear light to the ground black cable of the front light and I connect it to this booster sensor uh, black wire here and for the power uh, I connect the main uh, red wires together and I connect them at the point uh, where the signal cable connects so the black wire here or alternatively the yellow power output on the controller side this, this is it that's all the connections you have Tronic motor controller which is the original one as you can see I cut all the cables on the bike side so not on the controller side and I connected them back to the original pins so that later I can actually rem remember <laughs> which one uh, went where all right so what we will do we'll go wire by wire cable by cable uh, this is the aftermarket controller I will put the link in the description of where did I purchase it the main difference between the controllers is that this is one the original one is 36 volt controller and this can work with 48 volt battery packs as we were replacing to the larger voltage battery pack the original controller is not working so very first wires that I had to cut is the power wires the connections here were similar to these as far as I remember and that doesn't work well with the battery pack that I own original battery pack was coming with XT60 I have installed XT30 because my battery pack is coming with XT30 in your case it might be coming with XT60 then you wouldn't need to change anything uh, or it might come with completely different connections so it's up to you to choose the right connector to connect your own battery pack also my battery pack charges through the same wires as it gives away energy differently than the original one so the charging port is connected to the same wires so I can charge my battery up next one is the, is the motor main phase wires and on the original controller they were blue green and yellow and you can see on the bike side they were matching blue green and yellow as well and on the aftermarket controller I just connected blue green and yellow in the same way and that worked if your motor is spinning in the opposite direction you might need to change two uh, wires places so hopefully the colors matches for you as well if no you might need to change them around a bit alternatively if you use the same controller as this one it has the green wire which is phase recognition wire when you connect it the controller will automatically recognize the phase and then you don't need to swap the cables around we will continue working on the same cable that has three motor phase wires and it also has the hall sensor wires here so this is red yellow light blue green and black red yellow green blue and black so green and blue are switched places compared to the original one so when we're done with the whole sensor we move to another cable that has these five wires as you can see i had to cut them and made a different connector and i only use the three remaining wires i do not use the white yellow and blue one and what this is this is the accelerator so this is your throttle so your throttle is red green and black on the side of the bike so we sorted one more we can move it out of the way these are the brake signal coming from one and another brake handles and on the bike side you will see that this black and red is coming in a cable of four the green and yellow that's the headlight button the red button on the handlebars this one and these two so the black one connects to the yellow and the red one connects to the red on the aftermarket controller all right so what's left 
on the controller aftermarket one this is the intelligent phase wire meaning if you're not sure how the phase wire should be connected you can connect these together and connect the phase randomly it should automatically recognize the phase this blue and black that's crease control this is the what they call booster sensor which i believe it's uh, pedal assist if you install pedal assist sensor on your bike and white and yellow that's the brake signal so none of these are used so as i mentioned the cruise control is not working and the lights are not working right now how to make the lights work so what i have done i connected the original battery to the original controller as i can see it's 29.6 volts so it's 30 volts that are supplied for the rear light and i don't know can we give 42 will be too much i think we'll have to try and see all right we'll do some very sophisticated testing to figure out if the tail light can survive at 48 volts it works i don't know how long will it work but it works and then in a very similar way we'll test the headlight and it works as well Oh, you probably can't see shit. Yep, now you can see. So what I think is that we can simply use 48 volts for the lights. All right, at this moment, I have to say some disclaimer. I haven't tested it for any prolonged period of time. So if your lights go in smokes, don't blame me. You do it at your own risk. But if you're looking for the absolutely easiest solution to connect your tail and headlight, take the both negatives from the headlight and the tail light and connect it to the booster sensor negative terminal. And then take both positives and connect them to the yellow wire of the on off switch and what happens then is when you turn on the nothing happens and what happens then is when you turn on the scooter both your front and rear lights will go on and when you turn it off they will go off so that's the easiest way to connect the front and rear light all right guys so this was it i hope that with both with the diagram and going cable by cable wire by wire it will be sufficient explanation to you how to connect the new controller to your wingu b20 and if you found this helpful and it, you think it's worth two euros you can go to my patreon account and subscribe for one month and in that way i will get a cup of coffee for myself also if you have more detailed questions for your specific situation so how to run your bike uh, you know how to connect your controller if you are my patreon i will provide you personal guidance with more explanations and detailed answer to questions otherwise thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in my next videos yo